Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain about the treatment of epilepsy or drug classes used to treat epilepsy. In my previous video, I have explained the differences between convulsion, seizure and epilepsy. Please go through it and then watch this video. Now, epilepsy is a central nervous system disorder characterized by seizures. Seizure is uncontrollable electrical activity of brain or central nervous system. So in seizure, there is high excitation of the CNS is observed. So the treatment involves reducing the excitation or enhancing inhibitory neurotransmission. So this can be achieved by four classes of drugs. Now CNS excitation, the excessive excitation can be caused by two different kinds of ions like sodium ions and calcium ions or increased neurotransmission of excitatory neurotransmitter by glutamate. So by reducing sodium calcium transmission or reducing glutamate neurotransmission, you can control the excitation or by enhancing the inhibitory neurotransmission like GABA. GABA neurotransmitter is a inhibitory neurotransmitter. So the classes and drugs are sodium channel blockers, example carbamazepine, phenytoin, calcium channel blockers, ethosuximide and valproate, agents reducing glutamate neurotransmission like uh, felbamate, lamotrizine, topiramate. The other class, GABA neurotransmission enhancers. This can be achieved by benzodiazepines, barbiturates or certain kinds of special drugs. Special drugs like valproate enhances the biosynthesis of GABA. Vigabatrin reduces the metabolism of GABA. Thiagabine inhibits the reuptake of the GABA. So all these three agents enhances GABA uh, neurotransmission. And the other drug like uh, GABA pentin, prigabalin enhances the release of GABA. So all these special drugs can also be used to enhance inhibitory neurotransmission. Now, leaving this, you have certain drugs of choices are there for particular types of uh, epilepsy. Like grand mal epilepsy, uh, tonic uh, uh, epilepsy, atonic epilepsy, myoclonic epilepsy, all of them can be treated by valproic acid. Now, the reason why valproic acid is used in multiple conditions is valproic acid exhibits multiple mechanisms of action. It blocks sodium channels in the brain, calcium channels in the brain, and it also enhances uh, GABA neurotransmission in the brain. So it has got all the three effects out there. So now leaving this, some other special cases like absent seizures can be treated by ethosuximide and valproate. Now, uh, febrile seizures, the fever induced seizures can be treated by diazepam. Whereas there is a condition called a status epilepticus. Usually the epileptic attack will be there for two to three minutes. If it is, if the attack is more than five minutes, it is called a status epilepticus, which is a dangerous condition. It can be treated by intravenous lorazepine. Now the other thing, infantile spasms can be treated by adrenocorticotropic hormone. The last one, in certain pregnant women, the high blood pressure may cause epilepsy. It is called as eclampsia, pregnancy eclampsia. This can be treated by magnesium sulfate. So this is about anti-epileptics and drug of choices. Thank you for watching this video.